NBC 15's Justin Moore joins us here in the studio. Justin, health experts say logistical delays are to blame. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Alabama has received more than 124,000 doses of vaccines, leaving many to wonder why it's taken so long to vaccinate. COVID vaccines continue to roll out as COVID numbers continue to spike. So right now, it looks like there's um, enough vaccine for the 1A group. According to the CDC, Alabama was given more than 124,000 doses of vaccine, but only around 26,000 doses reached the arms of those at the top of the list. Nationally, 12.4 million doses were given to states. Only 2.8 million have actually been administered. You know, it takes time because this is a new added responsibility on top of everything that healthcare and and public health and pharmacies and provider offices are doing to try to combat the epidemic. Just this week, pharmacies like Walgreens and CVS started vaccinating nursing homes in Alabama, only several weeks after Florida started vaccinating its long-term care facilities. But there was also delays in Pfizer's distribution from the manufacturing facility due to a logistical issue. And that is probably resulting in some delays in long-term care facilities receiving the vaccines. Despite the slow roll, many people, including some healthcare workers, decided to wait a while before taking the vaccine or not take it at all. The CDC ranked Georgia and Mississippi as states with the less amount of people vaccinated per 100,000 residents. Now, health leaders tell me here in Alabama, vaccines may not be available to the general public for another three to five months. Rachel. 